damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Crystal Maiden's gonna take the gank once again. They bring in the Medusa, but she blinks back. Still gonna be hit by Ohio. The charge in, nice hit. What a falling wall there from Rose. Does manage to knock out these heroes. And Ultimate comes out from Queen of Pain, which just doesn't seem to be enough. And Ultimate from Mushi buys some time, but there's just none of these heroes from NP. They're low enough. They've killed Crystal Maiden, but NP are cleaning up all of the health of Mushi. They're gonna try and charge in once again. Now the Crush comes out on the two, but again, NP, they just seem so tanky. They don't care about Mushi's damage. They're just gonna be able to wipe out all the supporting group behind Mushi and leave him for last. NP, wipe out Fnatic there and will get the last couple of desserts there. Bevy, he'll go down as well. That'll be a gem dropped as well. Fnatic so NP seemed hesitant to move down to that bottom side of the map. NP, and don't go up this cliff. He's going up the cliff. He's gonna be coming as well. And the vacuum set is going for the combination. Catches two. They'll take both and NP have no real response. Maybe they do. Hey, Wesh is gonna jump forward fearlessly. Go for Mushi, but now he's gonna be caught by the laser and he really just doesn't have it. He's gonna be kited around. Goes for Yamate. Looks like he'll be able to get that one kill. MS says he's focusing on Mushi. Almost got off the roar, but he doesn't get it. The smoke screen stops him and Mushi turns around and claims his captured life. That's gonna be four down from NP. Only Rose, the Undying, is gonna be up as but it seems like NP are not gonna leave too many heroes trailing. Game Wise actually run into your green. This is a good opportunity to be able to take him down. They've already got the Tinker dead, but the rest of the NP is gonna be a little bit lacking. Now they get the golem down. Rose was the target, he's still keeping himself alive. Mushi is now already down to half health. Get back up now. Here comes the static sword. Vacuum combination. A big play coming out from Fnatic. Now they turn the fight, and maybe the Earth is still going out, but he's gonna get kited around going for Ohio, trying to catch him out. AUI, a sliver of HP that he's working off. The Earth is finally gonna take him out with the Thunder Strike. Bye bye, Aegis. And P, they look to be able to catch a little bit more. Yamate is going to be chased out here. AY is hoping to be able to Zombies catch up the hit. That one zombie is going to be enough. Eternal Envy. Oh, yeah, you know back. they don't really want to go for a straight up push. Is Eternal Envy going to be the target? Bevy, are you going to go for this? You're going to be able to get the jump in. If it's a blade or to break through that Lincoln, but Eternal Envy does manage to get out he of the forward. Forward. Oh my god, how is he jumping forward like this? He's just man moding up and he'll still hit the arrow. Mochi ran into it. Ohio's going to come in to get the static storm out, but they don't manage to get the backing. He refreshes up, still trying to catch these heroes. But Yamate's not going to be able to get the opportunity for a static, static storm. Cannot he cannot to die here. here. Trying to catch these extra heroes. Ohio turns around, throws out the wall vacuum, but he gets eliminated immediately. Tinker trying to make his way back, hoping to be able to buy enough space Bushi for Mushi. does not have travel, but he doesn't have travel. He's only working on face boost. He's going to be caught here. He does have an offense, but he's just not up in time. He's down for two minutes. Spot as Marana came in. Bottom lane. I don't think Nando even realized it was coming his way. Kangaroo, does he try and go no. for the hit? You've got Slana coming in. He'll actually get the Vendetta. Hit the crotch out of position. This will allow for the Eclipse to hit. The ESO almost the Eclipse killing him. There's a shallow grave to protect the Luna, to follow into that Lucid theme. So they already picked up the Nick Assassin. Arfu is still on oh, the There's the break. They get close enough to the SD. Now Moonlight Shadow triggers for WG. They realize what's up. A quick sentry ward. Arjit walking in range. He's going to get cussed up. But he's already over the tight end. If he can keep that back, he's done. Silence on DJ. DJ will get the Ravage off. It's quite deep and Gammy doing the work with the freeze fire and the epicenter. The damage is huge. Turn on the Eclipse as well. A two for one trade off. Archit still keeping that distance thanks to Exnova. They can turn around a little bit, but no, they'll burn the Aegis to the Immortal. He'll come back to life again in a second, but no real friends around apart from Nana. Nana jumps in for the double softball. The damage isn't enough. No 76, 65 life in the tree lines. The arrow even searching for Nando. He's still alive on 29. Sign the DP. It won't be in time. But Gabby almost toggles his way through. They already found the other kill onto the Dro Ranger, and now it's all up to the death of the Marana, and they're gonna get her. Gabby will survive, and Execration will come out on top of the terrific for the moment. Gabby wants to find something to power strike, but Nana blinks away in the just in time. But Slana is in more trouble. Stunned up. The loser beam holds him in position. They can move over towards the Dro Ranger. If that stun from the Nyx Assassin doesn't do so much work, not to mention the arrow off the Dazzle. There's no shallow grave available from him. They're not actually killing him off, so he can grave up, and he does it over on Gabby. They didn't focus down the target. This will give Gabby a little bit more time to be in denial, but it's Arjit doing so much work on the Dro Ranger. Just sitting in the back lines. And Execration able to complete the kills they wanted. The Marana a while out, but the gust is too big. Ty can't follow up until now. He breaks free with the Ravage hitting on two. And came back in with the arrow. It connects on DJ. The follow up on Tanker is in the perfect position. It's a hop through. And he'll also find the tiger on Willy. And they both strike down for the Nyx Assassin. Spike Carrot with another spanner in the work. The WG. Yeah, WG attacking into the tier three tower now on bottom. They've Quick, got double the Juggernaut thanks to the Morphling. And uh, oh, Nando. Jumps in. Uh, there's your glimpse. 
They're pulling him back again. A quick Yule Scepter up. Wyvern, where is it? Song of the Siren. It's coming off, but you've already brought down the tier 3 tower. Nando just wants to escape back out of the wall. He has the Yule Scepter, but he's up for too long. He won't jump down. DJ Elise has the call. Home on the ball blink. Can they kill him? They need to kill him. The Wyvern curse is out with a split of blast of damage. Where is it? It doesn't exist. They just survived tank the dream call into the Omni Slash. Rip him through at the spin. DJ will keep the call up, but he'll get sliced in two by the Timbersaw. Kick in through, stopping the Spirit Breaker, it's GG! Execration just scanned perfectly on top of Nana, you kind of knew where he was going to find, but this was just more confirmation. So they silence him up, he can't get the Chemical Rage off, TP support coming in, and maybe with the Trine, they're able to survive a little bit longer. Toggle it through, where's the run? It's just too much burn damage coming in for the Firefly. Under Lords of the Neighborhood, maybe they can get a little bit more back here. It's DJ, who's locked in, Omni Flash committed, but he actually jumps. And away, under the cover of Moonlight Shadow. They don't know where he is, he's got his Blink Dagger available, but they want to try and turn. Silencer goes through a quick Arcane Curse, they need a little bit more support with a Firefly back up, and Nando jumping in, the Starfall damage, Wyvern will drop, Execration, they need a little bit more, the Rolling Ball is up in a second, but they've got all the Suns in the world, they're especially now that Gabby has arrived! Sorry. And now, yeah, they do, they realise they're perfectly visible. And that's the three will get coming with the plate out. And he's done the last over there. Just by a camera spoil off Gabby. Needs to do a lot of work. Maybe he can't recover with global silence. Juggernaut breaks free with a mana style. So he's got the space. And WG, there's the vibes for now. Maybe with the Omni Slash, they couldn't get a revenge. But the Earth finds her out. And it's Nana, who's in issues, especially with a kick and causing the attack on the back line. They'll get E-Blade popped. Four heroes down for W. That's Winter Blast. You can bite it up with the root. Turn on the fire. Turn on the flames. The Meepo. He explodes. Too heavily grouped up despite Karamas. Even holding DJ in position. No more Sons of Babel. And then it gets a Starfall. Nando's doing so much damage with Arshin. Looking for revenge. And he's got it as well. Back on the run. The kick's too far out. Maybe with the hits he does. He pulls from the curse. Now also the kick kangaroo. Another pit of Malphas. More space to be created. But Underlord, he should tick out in just a bit. There she is. A double kill for DJ, and it's up to Underlord Kangaroo who fights it. Well off target from Nick Assassin, and then Blink Lasso and a big one. Nick plus Underlord, it's a 2 feet controllers with the silence. Have they got enough? Maybe they do another Lasso. This time it's a jungle with the wife and falls back in again. Bat Rider, everybody have a big group hug because Extra Creation have done it. They will 2-1 out. WG push forward inside their own jungle and hoping to be able to catch someone, but Ramsey already blinks himself back. MSS managed to get the catch, but it's a little bit too far. All these VP heroes, AY says, damn it, I'm going in. You guys need to follow me in, but he realizes this is too much to handle. A couple of BKBs pop by VP, and now they're the ones who are gonna try and turn things around. Nice push back, catch the other old fourth. AY can't really do much about this. Manta, but gets a force staff out of that static storm. He's gonna be good for now. No one's damage is stalled up. MSS gets the burrow strike, but then the people is doing so much work. All these heroes, they're stuck inside this one. They can't go anywhere. No one's just tearing them apart from a distance. Rose bumps the back with an attempt at a retreat, but he's not going to be able to make it out of here and assassinate. He gets paint MP. They still try and finish this one up. Eternal Levy will manage to get no one, it looks like, but he's dropped quite low. Underlord in solo. They're trying to battle it out with MSS right now. MSS with the golem feeling good. Gets the two-man burrow strike. Solo's quite low, but it looks like Eternal Levy's not willing to make it. The glimmer tape is up now. Now comes the Shiva's two-man burrow strike. It's setting up. Ramsey's he's going to be really going to jump forward. And he targets the Luna. Almost bring him down. The golem stops things up, but Ramsey still gets that final swing. The golem stands by Fatal Bond's a good position, but they just don't seem to have enough damage. BP still look very tanky, they finally get that ultimate down, but they're lacking the Luna ultimate, and that is what the game plan was. NP just run out of steam here, their two heroes are down for two minutes, and that means they will call it GG. I don't think they can really do too much. Well, maybe. They've got a double damage, they're going to try to lead things off of the NPL. Surprise with the Meteor and the Sun Strike! What a beautiful combination by BP! Oh, if they can save anymore, they're gonna have to find a better initiation a little bit later on. The back end catches to him, manage to get the call, but already the push back there of the invoker. Now the ice on top of that, they manage to get a beautiful counter initiation by Lil on the two. And P are trying to fight this one out, at least get a kill on Lil. They will be able to get that much for the rest of BP. Don't be on God like then they're looking for even more pushing deeper. Eight wise and manage to pop off his ultimate Masha. This is his stun. Targeted by Eternal Envy. He managed to get himself away. Eight wise and Eternal Envy dropped as well. Trip 
triple kill beyond godlike for Ramsey. And no one, he'll go ahead and pick up SBG2 with a triple beyond godlike of his own. Who gets the quad kill? MSS dies. AUI left for dinner. Ultra kill beyond godlike for no one. You see exactly why so many teams feared VP this game. Moving up, moving up aggressively. Gabby's position will uh, take down the smoke here. They'll put down an Arbs Ward and they get the chain snatch. Immediately jump forward from Fabian. Looking for Gabby here. Can he get himself out of this one? No, he can't. There'll be an RP to secure the kill. They'll make sure they take the one. Oh, oh they're stuck on the cliff. And Kimo there with the Ultima raining down the icy balls of hell. DJ. Oh. So they do have their Roshi and they could. Yeah, they're actually in push here. Oh, they're gonna go for the charge. They wanna try and contest this one immediately. Looking to go in onto eye size. And then the strike as well. Control and Face Down. Nice tornado. EMP as well coming through face down. Plus the BKB. Trying to get into a position here. He's gonna be fast. It's a good skill onto two. There's the RP. Holding back both the Darkseid and the CM out of this fight. Can the rest of the team go to work though? Nando's on the chase of eye size. Only the CM to die as of yet. They're still trying to finish off that Underlord towards the top. Back towards the pit. Wings will find a second. There'll be a buyback from Kima on the CM. Trying to get himself back and involved in the fight here. DJ and Nando on the retreat. Okay, this is a good start again. DJ tries to jump in for BKB. Really Immediately start. DJ, the physical damage is too much. Shrine's aren't going to save you now, sir. Nando, post BKB. Eclipse as well, trying to turn, but Eyesight still with the BKB up. He's going to be A-OK. -okay. Glimmer Cave forced out. He'll survive. They'll turn back in, looking for the Earth Spirit. Eyesight comes in with the Echo Slam. Two down on the ground. Three ground on the, on the ground. Permanent creation. Nando, he's trying to run away from this. He's trying to run away from his team. They should be able to find him as one more touch there from Blink does it and GG well played is called. It's all too much at the end of the day for extra creation 20 to 1. I don't quite really know what happened that game purge. It was a little bit of a weird one but there's no denying Wings looking very solid today.